Hi there friends, I've been promising you to do this video ever since I started the favorites for 2021 and I have a whole entire playlist on those that which I will make sure that I leave below for you, but we're going to do foundations. This should be fun. So we're going to start off with number 10. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I learned about this from Allie Glines. This is a beautiful medium coverage foundation that doesn't show texture. It doesn't turn super orange or oxidize or anything. It plays very well across my skin and gives a very satin-like finish to my skin. It's not very dewy and it's definitely not very matte. So this one came in at number 10, not because I like some of them better than others just because I figured that there are preferences for me and I'll talk to you about that as we get closer to number one but this one was number 10 it's a very affordable foundation that you can find on Amazon and I like it very I liked it very very much I put the Dior glow forever skin at kind of towards the bottom at number nine because they just changed this formula and I have no idea what they've done to it so I haven't tried it yet it's on its way to me I'm excited to get it but this one was gorgeous on my skin and I am praying that they didn't change the formula so much that it's not going to be as good on my mature skin but it just had that dewy glowy finish without feeling tacky I would say that if you're somebody that's oily you probably wouldn't have liked this formula very much i hope that their new formula is as good but I, this one knocked my socks off i loved it it covered everything beautifully it covered everything in one coat and it didn't show any texture it didn't settle all day long it was a tad bit too dark i will say that so i had to mix in some of my white pigment with it but you know it was just beautiful and like i said fingers crossed that they didn't mess up the formula i will be doing a review on that for you right away and at number eight is the four Forera. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It says that this is a soft matte long wearing liquid foundation and I find it as just exactly that. It is very soft. It's not one that is going to make you look like you've got a super dry face. The matte on it is great. I started using it during the summer so it kept so much of my uh, breakthrough oil which I get through the T-zone sometimes at bay. I thought it was wonderful. Again, this covers in one coat. I did kind of have to touch up just a little bit where I have super dark spots, but that's normal for me. I have to do that with just about any foundation that I use. And I usually use two coats of whatever foundation, two very thin coats. So this one was really good as far as no texture, no oxidation, and it just looked really beautiful on my mature skin. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more matte, but not a harsh matte, this is a really good one too. In at number seven, I was so surprised at this one and this one I actually am wearing on this side of my face today and this one is the snail repair intensive BB cream from Maison. I heard about this one from Mandy Lee. She's the one that raved and raved about this until I had to go get it. And she was right. This is a beautiful foundation. I will say that it is a little bit too on the warm side for me. So I did another color correction with my mixing pigments. If you don't know what that is, I will make sure that I leave that information for you below. Mixing pigments can be a savior when you're looking at colors for your foundations that can correct them so that you will be able to take care of any foundation you have in your collection and make it your perfect color. So this one was a beautiful BB cream. I love the way that this went across the skin. It covers like about a medium coverage, but it's very buildable. And so at two coats, I feel like I get plenty of coverage. I feel like it is a very dewy foundation. I also feel like it's very moisturizing throughout the day. So if you do have very dry skin or if your skin Skin gets extra dry in the winter you're probably going to really love this one and that is what I am loving about it is that I don't really have to worry about my skin looking patchy or getting you know clinging to those dry spots it's just it's really great one in at number six is one that I introduced to you guys probably the end of last year but I still love it I think it's one of the best foundations on the market
it right now and it's the sephora best skin ever this is a very skin like foundation it is a foundation that in the very first coat you put it on you can you will find that it completely covers everything i have i have absolutely nothing negative to say about this i probably should have ranked it a little bit higher but since i tried it like last year and it kind of just sneaked in for this year i kind of ranked it right in the middle it's a beautiful foundation that i have been absolutely loving covers like a dream no texture no breakthrough looks like skin it is gorgeous i really like it although i have had somebody tell me very recently that it didn't work at all for them and you know what I think that we need to get a conversation going in the description in the comment section below where we talk about what whether these worked that I'm talking about whether they didn't whether there's one that I missed that is your holy grail I would love to know that as well so definitely let me know and by the way all of them will be linked below with the colors that I wear so that you guys can know and kind of compare that to whether or not they might work for you the next one one is the Fenty ease drops this one um, I think a lot of people shied away from because they felt like it might have been much too liquidy Much too difficult to work with but i'm wearing this one on this side today And this is one of my very favorites light skin I mean it has a super light texture when it comes out It doesn't act like a liquid It doesn't drip down my hand or drip down the face or anything like that It actually comes out just in almost a serum form and it is so pretty i do find that it has a very medium to bu medium buildable formula i think if you wanted to you could share it out if you used a very small amount i do like medium to full coverage so that's my preference but this again looks so good on your skin it is a satin it's not a matte and it's not super dewy and that's what i love about it and it's so easy to blend in i mean it truly is one of those ones that i I didn't want to try it. I was just like, I, I don't think that's something that would work for me because I don't like a very light coverage foundation. I like that medium buildable, but this is it. This is beautiful. And I have heard so many people that have oily skin that love this. Risa does makeup, says that she absolutely loves it. It made it into her 2021 also, her favorites. And so many people I have heard from that like this so much. This is one when I want something super easy, super quick, that I know is going to look flawless, I will reach for this because it's a really quick, easy one. I don't have to fuss with it at all. In at number four, I kind of had a hard time because I couldn't choose between these two. And it's the Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. Let me grab my glasses so I can read to you exactly what it says. It says, weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear. And then they also came out with the Stay Naked, Stay Naked, Stay naked, hydromatic, hydro. Okay, let's start that again. Urban Decay, stay naked, hydromanic, tinted glow, hydrator, medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. You know what? These are both. They're so close. I mean, the stay naked, stay naked one that is the weightless one, I do feel like it's a little bit lighter. This one feels very hydrating. I like them both for different reasons. I like this one because, you know, when it's a little bit warmer, when I'm feeling like I need a little bit less um, hydration, this one's great, but this one, I this one is great for being very hydrating. They really give the same amount of coverage and they are very buildable and they do last the, the same amount of time. So I actually think that either one, if you're really, really dry, I would grab this one. If you're not, grab this one. Again, Risa does makeup said a long time ago I and I had never tried it, but she said that this one works for her and she's very oily. And I keep referring back to her because I'm very dry. She's very oily. So I can kind of tell my oily skin gals what they need to go for. So love, love, love these beautiful colors, a beautiful way they sit across your skin. In it, number three, this is just one of those foundations that is a high-end foundation in a very inexpensive bottle, and it's the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation Long Wear. This is incredibly beautiful, and I cannot begin to tell you how much this does look like skin when you put it on. You get a full coverage. Um, if you wanted to, you could, you know, use less, get a medium coverage, but I get a full coverage from it almost every time. It covers my super 
terrible dark spots, my hyperpigmentation with all my redness through here. The canvas is smooth. It looks flawless across your skin. It's even. It's gorgeous. It's neither matte nor dewy. It's just that perfect sweet spot. And that's really what I was looking for this year was that sweet spot right in between the two because I didn't want to look like a grease ball, but I also didn't want to look like a dried up shriveled prune. So this one fits that bill. I'm sure that you've heard many people have this in their 2021 20, favorites. I heard so many of them and I love that. And then uh, Lisa J Makeup, she did a video on this foundation and I have never tried Max Foundations. There's hardly any that I've tried, but this one, which is the Studio Skin Fluid with SPF 15, this one is gorgeous. Now this is a quite matte foundation, not hyper matte where it's gonna make you feel dry, but it is a matte foundation, but boy, my goodness, this is a beautiful coverage. It absolutely, if you feel like your skin um, needs to look more youthful, more even, just have that more of a cohesive, beautiful look to it, this is it. And the other thing that I love about it is that when I use it, it covers like a dream. I mean, I don't have to use very much. I use a teeny tiny amount and it covers everything so gorgeously and no texture, no break apart because it does have a little bit more of a matte property to it, but it's not like super matte. It's not hyper matte. It's that perfect matte. And I have been reaching for this one over and over again. Now that the heats come on, I do find that I do use more of a setting spray that is hydrating and a primer that's hydrating with it. But uh, when I first bought it like two or three months ago, ago I just loved it. I, I still love it. I just wore it yesterday and it was absolutely gorgeous on my skin and the color is really good. The coloring is really good. I think mine is in N 4.5 works beautifully for me. And the other thing is there is absolutely no oxidation. You're not going to turn orange. It's going to be gorgeous. Now my number one foundation and I was just shocked my socks off was from Shiseido and this is their synchro skin. And this is the self-refreshing foundation oil free broad spectrum SPF of 30. And I don't think that this one is the glowy one. As a matter of fact, I know it's not. This is just the first one they came out with before they came out with their glowy one. Haven't tried the glowy one, but I don't even need to. This, the first time I tried it, it lasts me probably 12 to 14 hours. I was so impressed with that. It didn't budge. It didn't go anywhere. And I'm somebody that um, in the winter, I kind of get a runny nose excuse the, that's kind of gross, but I, so I'll be dabbing all day long, right? So it did come off a little bit, but not like my other foundations where by the end of the day, got this red, red nose. So I really liked that. Besides that, it is flawless. You can use one pump of it. Um, I use one pump on each side and it goes across my skin and hides all of the texture, all of the large pores. It The discoloration is smoothed out. And I feel like this foundation makes me look younger. I love this stuff. I really hope they never change this uh, formula because I would be so upset. This is beautiful. I do want to try the glowy one just to see how it acts. See if it's something that is as good as this one. And I probably will sometime this year and then I'll report back to you guys. But beautiful foundation. Love, love, love it. Very quickly, I also tried several foundation powders. I don't normally do that, but this year I wanted to try some. And so these are the ones that worked for me. By the way, you're going to all say, what about the L'Oreal, the new one, the pressed one? Didn't work for me. Dried me out something fierce. It was really, really bad. Okay. I had Bare Minerals send me the Bare Pro one. I had never tried the pressed version before. It acts just like the original and it is lovely. I love this stuff. And I have been kind of concentrating on this part right here where I have so much discoloration and that's where all of those dark spots and my scarring is. This is every bit as beautiful if you have oily skin or if you're looking for something that really sets down your your makeup and you can just do a light veil of it. 
it's beautiful and then i also tried the fenty this one is i can't remember what this one's called this is the pro filter soft matte pressed powder and so i tried that one as well and i like this one too so again just this little area right over here where i get so much discoloration and nothing can really cover it except for putting on a foundation like this that's a powder that really can cover hot you know give high coverage i don't like it i don't like these all over because i feel like i get a little bit too cakey looking so i am still really very much a liquid foundation person from mac the studio fix this one was my number one this is my absolute number one favorite i love this this you could get away with wearing especially in the summer you could get away with wearing it as a full face if you just wanted a light dusting across it's going to even out your complexion very easily i will put this one in the places where i know i'm going to break apart and it just works so good and this is extremely blurring and it wears just absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. All of these are high end because I have yet to find a drugstore. You tell me down in the comment section if you know of a drugstore one. I want to hear from you guys besides the L'Oreal one because the L'Oreal one just didn't work for me. And then the Laura Geller, this is the Baked Balance and Brighten in Light. Now this one doesn't give me hardly any coverage whatsoever. So this one is perfect for dusting every over everything to just give a very blurred look to my skin it's beautiful it's one of those ones that you can just blur out your pores um, make your skin look even make you look a little bit younger it's really pretty i don't have a brush right next to me or i would show you and just dust it across the skin i would definitely say if you're somebody that likes a light coverage this is a pretty one but it doesn't give you a lot of coverage so please keep that in mind as you're trying that but it does because you can see all the marbling in it it does give this amazing gorgeous um color correcting to your skin because it does have so many colors in there that just brighten up your skin and make your skin look absolutely gorgeous hopefully you will get some good ideas if you have skin like mine that you'll get some good ideas from these that these were the most fab fabulous of the year that i had tried nothing from previous years just this year so thank you so much for tuning in i love you all so very much and i will talk to you all in my very next video goodbye my friends <laughs>